Welcome, Mary's Taurus, to your beginning of the month reading for April. I hope your friends are doing great out there. Welcome back, all subscribers. Anyone new? Welcome, welcome, guys. Okay, let's see what's going on with you. Okay. Well, we did have that um, new moon on April 1st, so we know that right then and there for Taurus, that's going to illuminate... Um, some reasons why things are happening the way they are happening around you, especially on the Taurus side of you. So, and just knowing that the new moon was rising in this Aries season, there you go, right? Holding on to both sides of the spectrum over here when it comes to the zodiac signs. So, whether it's integrating into your sign or exiting your sign, it doesn't really matter. You're really going to feel that tug and pull going on, guys. Um, especially when it comes to gut feelings and intuition, uh, there could be a lot of discernment going around. Um, and that's just because your Aries intuition piece really wants to guide you where your Taurus wants more discernment, wants more answers, wants more of this, wants more of that, right? Wants more trustworthy answers to the situation that is going on before you. So getting straight into this, let's see what's going on. thinking feeling is the justice yeah you that has to be this trust and that has to be this truth to the situation to keep yourself balanced um definitely and getting straight in here not feeling like you really want to move the way you want to move and it's almost like do i take the leap of faith do you know is this what's good for me um and like i said it feels like there is this kind of pull on your you know um intuition right so it's like your gut feeling is saying one thing, but you're saying, I don't know, I need a little more time. I, little, I need a little more information before I can actually really start moving. So, you know, and this is causing con confusion, right? So it's almost like I want to flee from any trouble that's going on and get the truth and the balance within the situation, right? But your thoughts of separating from this piece, um, <laughs> Is almost like, well, my intuition says if I do such a move, it will be very good, but I need to have more information. So I'm not really 100% going with that intuition. So, so it's this need to need to um, listen closely to what your intuition is saying. And it could also be discerning about what company is around you as well. You know, people, when they're around us, they make us think twice sometimes. Is this the right kind of company? Is this what I really need? Do I really need to, you know, maneuver around this person and not allow them into my energy? Um, or am I moving into this right job? So take it how it resonates with you because no matter what it is, it's about maneuvering around something that you're not really 100% trustworthy of, but trying to figure out why, right? I need more info. So let's see what's going on. Yeah. So it's an internal battle that you're kind of... Um, conflicted by and having within yourself and not allowing yourself to be of service to yourself, right? It's upside down, right? Because I don't have enough trust if this is really going to do something for me. Are these people really good for me? Should I allow them around me? Um, should I keep them around? So yeah, there's going to be a lot of discernment, definitely. But trying to keep yourself kind of balanced is kind of interesting. Because with the Eight of Swords, you're saying, I'm having anxieties kind of about it, but not really. I'm trying to understand more about the situation. And this is your protection area over here from not allowing yourself to get too worked up about the situation. Because you just want to discern upon the situation. You don't really want to feel like you're stuck, right? You don't want to cause any kind of mental, you already have some mental conflict going on, but you don't want to have anxieties. You don't want to. You know what I'm saying? You don't want to keep yourself stuck there. So you're definitely in a protection mode. Thinking and discerning different ways and different ideas about the situation. Absolutely. So not causing any unnecessary pains or withdrawals or any of this stuff, right? So it could be somebody from the past um, that has you thinking about what's going on or you're very nostalgic about a situation that you would like to move forward to that maybe has come up from the past. Maybe it was a past job um, that you really wanted to do, and now you have that certain kind of opening coming towards you, and you're thinking, yeah, this is the type of job that I would like to have. This is what I was nostalgically thinking about, 
and really daydreaming about that situation. Um, if it is someone from the past that is coming in, you're not sure about their energy. Is this person who I really think this person is? Are they really trustworthy? Should I stay around this person? Wow. So really wanting to take action where the magic is. Um, and that's because of that, you know, um, that protection area that you're in. Could be dealing with a Sagittarius. Um, and just not really sure what this situation is. It seems like, you know, if it's a person, they got their stuff together. It's just that they're not really, you know, there's something different about this, this situation. Even, you know, if they're a new person that you're looking around at, um, I don't know, there's something different about them and you're just not sure. There's just unsurety no matter what. And with the Ten of Coins upside down, you're saying, I don't know how successful this is going to be. Even if this is a job or a career, um, this is where that upsetness and imbalance is coming from. Um, I need to get to where your passions really are and really trying to keep the inner peace within yourself. So let's just, you know, this could also be a co-worker as well as I'm looking over here. Um, let's just kind of clarify on what's going on over here on this side over here. You have the resources and the understanding to travel towards what you want and be fulfilled with what you are going after. Um, there is some impatience to the situation that can also be one of the, you know, biggest things. Uh, wherever it is, you know you want to make this move. Um, sooner or later, <laughs> right? Sooner or later. So look, even if it's a, a person that you're around and you're having, you know, trust issues about this person or knowing whether or not you really should keep them around, look guys, you ain't going to keep them around very much longer, right? Because in the, in the energy, it's showing that you know deeply within your gut feeling that this is not the type of person you really want to hang out with, Right? This is not the kind of job you really want to hold on to. You know there's something better out there, and you're really looking for the change and for the, I'm even going to say the challenge, um, the challenge to get something better. Um, and I feel like even with the word challenge, maybe you know this person challenges you too much. So no matter what, I don't see this relationship holding its ground very long um, because there's just too much discernment. There's just too much um, going around it. If you don't trust someone, how are you going to build trust? I don't see you building any trust within them, so I don't see them hanging out. Yeah, they're going to leave. They're going to leave, you're going to leave, however it is, right? You're going to go somewhere else. You're not holding on to this no matter what. So on the career front, let's just put it this way. If you know that you have a better opportunity for a career, my friends, you know you're going to take that, okay? Because you're, there's no way you're going to go backwards. If they say that they're going to down your pay, you're not staying, okay? You know that there's better opportunities. Um, maybe you're just Taurus, I just doesn't want you to move. If you're Taurus with that energy of, you know, Aries leaving the sign, um, that's just because you don't like change, right? That Taurus is too strong. It likes the stability of where you are. It likes, it doesn't like the change too much. If you're Aries, you want the change, but it almost feels like the Taurus is kind of holding you back into place. Um, you know, overriding that intuition that you have going on. That's exactly what's going on. When it comes to this person, for those of you who have this person, whichever way it's going, or maybe it's two in one, you know that there's something up with this person and you're having a hard time trusting them. If you are not definitely going to trust them, you know you're not going to, add any um, extra time or hard effort to try to get to trust this person. You know, you're not going to give them much of a chance because they all they do is kind of give you a challenge. There's going to be a time where you're going to give it up and you're going to say, I'm done with the challenge. I don't want to challenge. I don't want a friendship that's challenging. Why would I want a friendship that's challenging me? <laughs> right? I mean, shoot, sometimes we don't even want jobs that are that challenging. If they haven't wanted that much of a challenge, to go back to college. <clears throat> right? 
So yeah, it's saying you're going to let go, but it just becomes too overwhelming. It's just to the point where, you know, you fighting against yourself all the time, you're going to just become too involved in, in a situation to where it just ends up falling. Right. And once that intuition really starts sparking over here with the tower, you're going to get inspired and have a better understanding because the discernment is going to pop up. Now you're going to have extra discernment in every um, in every aspect. Right. You're going to find that this person is probably either moving backwards. In denial, overreacting, something of the nature. How, do, how can we have two cards that are saying we're moving backwards? If your job feels like you're moving backwards, you're not going to go backwards, my friends. This is just not going to happen, right? So if you already feel like that's exactly what it's doing, the job is taking a backwards, you know, turn, and then you're not going to have that. That would be failure. So you're not going to allow failure. If this person is moving, you know, into some kind of uh, denial, overreacting, or overforceful with you, yeah, that's when it's going to be completely over. Well, you know, you might even find that either you are going to cold shoulder them or you're going to say something and they will cold shoulder you. Um, then it'll be over. It's just something that doesn't seem like you're going to really deal with. It looks like you might have tried to move towards it, but it looks like they're going to end up moving away from you. There's some kind of gossip or something going on and frustration. Um, so... You know, it just looks like more than anything, it looks like to me, you're going to cold shoulder them because they're going to frustrate you so much um, that you just, you can't handle it anymore. Okay. It's just definitely not going to work. So getting a couple of cards over here. <coughs> Excuse me. Okay. Yeah, because your focus is where your focus wants to really be, which is on your stability, your stability, your money, um, earning that extra money. So, yeah. So even on e either front that you want to see this on, whether it's this relationship or this work area, um, there's a lot going on over here. And maybe they're making you try to even take your focus away from your where you really truly want to be in your work front um, with all their... I don't, it's kind of funny, you guys, because I don't see them, I just feel like they're, you're just afraid that they're not who they, they really are. They may be excessive in drama, they may cause too much drama, they cause too much conflict. If it's someone at work, I got to get out of here because I'm not going to deal with the tensions and, you know, of dealing with you. Um, maybe they're unethical, you know, and it's just too much to handle on the job front which is making your job feel like it's not moving in the proper ways. Uh, maybe you two just can't get along. I, I'm just saying the whole, you know, it might even be the boss. However, it is for you guys. I'm just telling you, this is not going to last. Um, where you perceive your intuition to be correct, obviously is correct. And it's going to come up to be correct. Um, I just, yeah, I just see you kind of, going back and forth within the ideas of could this change? Will this change? Um, and it shows over here that it's just not going to change. It's going to become more of a challenge than it's worth, right? It's just going to drain. It's just going to drain you, right? So you have to understand where the toxicities are. But the crazy thing is, is you already know where they are, right? You already understand where they are. I just think that the discernment is wanting that change, wanting everything to Yes, grow around you. But the only thing that's really going to grow around you in this situation is your intuition. It's just going to build stronger and stronger. And then it's going to take over, you know, all the other pieces of discernment that you're looking at. It's going to say, you don't need this answers because you already have the answers. So I don't see that changing. All I see is you getting stronger and more clear about the situation as the situation continues to take place within the mid-month. I'm really going into the mid-month over here. So, okay. And that was it for you, my friends. Until next time, peace and love. Bye-bye.